So when I first moved into this apartment, the apartment manager told me that the owners of this building was opening up another location in Kirkland. And he said it was going to be a brand new building, L-E-E-D or, or LED certified or whatever it is. I don't know if it's L-E-E-D or LED. I don't know which one you say, but anyway. And he was telling me about this apartment, how it's going to be like so fancy and upscale and, and I could you know, transfer there if I wanted to. So I went downstairs and I was talking to the apartment manager about the new apartments and I was asking her like how much, you know, the rent was going to be. So the rent, she said, is not posted yet because the apartments are not open. She was like, while I was like telling her, like talking to her about possibly transferring there, she's like looking up the pictures on her end. And I could see like, you know, the computer's kind of like turned like kind of on an angle more so facing her than me and like while we're talking she's like looking at the pictures and she's like ooh and on ah, and, and I'm like can I fucking see the pictures like she literally like never once turned the computer so that I could see the photos she just like kept ooh and on ah, and on her end and I'm like I guess I'm gonna have to go upstairs and google this damn apartment by myself and look at it because she ain't trying to show me so I just called the apartments in Kirkland and she said that the construction has been pushed back due to COVID. So they're not going to be opening until September, October. And I'm like, oh, that's perfect because my lease is up in September. You know, I might want to, you know, transfer over there. And so she says that there's basically no such thing as transferring within this company. So if I want to live in those apartments, even though they're owned by the same management company, I have to reapply so and get approved i'm like baby that's not how transfers work like whenever you transfer apartments or transfer units you shouldn't have to reapply and rerun your credit again it doesn't make any sense like whenever i was living in uh these apartments in shoreline called the artiste apartments i used to live there and they own several apartments in the seattle area and i went to go see one in ballard and it was just a smooth transfer. She said all I had to pay was $200 to transfer over to their building and then whatever the deposit is for the apartment and then the first month's rent. Like it was no need to run another application, none of that stuff I was already approved, I was already living there. So I'm probably gonna be deciding a little bit deeper on um, like what I wanna do after September, whether or not I wanna continue to live here or you know decide to basically leave Washington. And so, which is sad because I haven't seen all of Washington. I've only seen like Seattle and the surrounding counties, like Snohomish County, Tacoma, um, which is Pierce County and King. I haven't really been, you know, far north to Skagit County. I've never been far south. You know, I've never been to central Washington and eastern Washington. I haven't been anywhere over there. And then I was thinking also too that I don't think I'm gonna fully quit my job when I leave. I'm gonna take my shifts down to the bare minimum, which is the four shifts a month. And then I'm gonna find something else for the rest of the month, and, you know, a better, better situation. So I'm about to go pick up a package from the package room and I have to do this like really stealthy because I know that the manager is down there in the office and She's a little chatty and I don't be wanting to talk sometimes. I literally just woke up and I don't feel like talking, so. I couldn't record it because I needed the code off my phone, but she caught me. She didn't catch me going in, but she catch, caught me coming out. Like as soon as I came out of the little package room, she's like, hey, and she scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I am not stealth.
So I only ate half of the spaghetti, two of the toast that I made with butter, and I found this Coke in the refrigerator behind my ginger ale box. I was about to drink the ginger ale, and then I like pulled the box out and found a Coke from the last time I bought Coke. So this is probably gonna be my last Coke for a while. So this is how it starts. So it is now, I think almost 7 p.m. I ate like two hours ago and the nausea is starting. So I'm about to rub. I've got this new fabulous Franny roll-on tummy ease and it's got like fennel, ginger, coconut carrier oil, tangerine and spearmint in it. And it's a blend of essential oil. So I just rub it on my wrist. So when I start feeling the first signs of nausea, I usually do this. I usually smell it or take this and so it's starting to become like every single thing that I'm eating now like I just don't even like sometimes I think it's dairy sometimes I think it's gluten sometimes I think it's just fats <laughs> sometimes I think it's like starch I don't know what it is it, it could be also that the portion is too big I might need to like cut all my portions in like fours I don't know I just don't like heating stuff up so like trying to make like a tiny portion of food is annoying and then eating just a tiny portion of food is annoying too because like after I'm done eating I'm still hungry but it's like I need to start thinking about the fact that I'm gonna feel nauseated and sick so I need to like cut back significantly so like the amount of food that I ate today even though this was my first meal in 24 hours, like I haven't eaten in 24 hours because last night I got really sick and I had to take a Zofran and go for a walk outside because I was about to like go. Like it, it was, I don't know, I had Chipotle yesterday and like I'm just going to have to like stop eating Chipotle. Like Chipotle just keeps making me so sick and I think it's because of the cheese and the sour cream, but it could also be the beans. It could also be the rice. It could just be the combination of the whole thing. I have no idea. But I, I'm starting to think that Chipotle is like a no-go. Like right now I feel sick. I, I've gotten up and moved since I ate. I took a shower. I, you know, um, tried on some things that I bought that I don't uh, need. I'm going to send them back. And then I sat back down to watch the rest of The Handmaid's Tale. But I'm just like feeling queasy. So I got some water. Um, the water is cold. I don't really like room temperature water. I know like it's better for you. But I don't like when it sits for a while and gets room temp and now I'm about to 